So sorry, I got a bit sidetracked. I'm going to talk about acupuncture um, and diabetic neuropathic pain. Sorry, D difficult English word. I hope you can see my um, my PowerPoint presentation. Thank you, Yeah. Um, so before I go on to talk about this, so now I have problems with changing my slide again, sorry. Think things like this always happen when they're not supposed to. Oh, there we go. So uh, before I move on to the study uh, about neuropathic pain, I would just talk a little bit about how you can use uh, research, acupuncture research in your clinic. Uh, you can use it for many different reasons. One of the things that you can use research for is for inspiration. Uh, when you are going to treat patients, you can perhaps have a patient with a condition that you are not so familiar with and you can, uh, before the patient comes to, come to your clinic, you can look up research uh, on this specific condition and see uh, what other acupuncturists uh, has used for acupuncture points. Um, or if you are getting stuck with a client, you don't know what to do uh, next, uh, you can also look uh, at research to get some inspiration and see if they have used uh, other points that the ones that you have used or use different techniques or perhaps use maxibustin or something like that. You can also uh, show uh, the evidence uh, to potential uh, patients. Um, some patients likes to hear about uh, research before they come to a clinic or before they get a treatment for a specific condition. So you can use evidence to, um, to get uh, patients into your clinic. Then you can also use uh, research in, when you do advertisement for your clinic, if you have something in the local newspaper or you have something on your uh, clinic Facebook page or on other social medias, you can also use it when you brand your clinic. And uh, one of the last things that you can, or other things you can use it for is to um, increase the trustworthiness of uh, you and your clinic in your local uh, town or community. Uh, so you can also use research outside of your clinic and research can be really good at uh, influencing decision makers. If you are working for an association, you can use uh, um, good research to um, influence uh, politicians if they're going to make uh, some decisions regarding um, acupuncture or just uh, complementary medicine in general uh, in the country that you live in. And you can also use research to um, increase the trustworthiness uh, to regards to the entire acupuncture community in the country that you stay in. So you can use research in your clinic and you can re use research um, in, out into the public to try and yeah, gain some more knowledge about acupuncture and what we can do. Uh, Mark talked a little bit about uh, systematic reviews and uh, what they are all about. I will talk a little bit about the evidence pyramid. Some of you might know it quite well already and some of you might uh, not know anything about it. Uh, the evidence pyramid is, um, is telling you a little bit about uh, which type of research that you have to look for depending on what you're going to use it for. So if you are looking for research to help you treat patients in your clinic or you just need to get some inspiration, then you can use all of the research that you can see here on the evidence pyramid. You can uh, find some background information, you can uh, find some expert opinion, you can talk to uh, a teacher at an acupuncture school and get their opinion or something. You can look for case reports, uh, you can look for randomized control trials, and you can look for 
uh, systematic reviews and meta analysis it does it doesn't really matter if you're only going to use it in your own clinic uh, to get some inspiration but on the other hand if you're looking for research that can um, influence some decision makers or you really want to uh, have some uh, good quality research or at least on high level research to convince uh, new patients to come to the clinic, you should um, look for research that is from randomized control trials and to the top of the pyramid. Randomized control trials are the holy grail within research, just research in general, not just in acupuncture research, but just research in general. And uh, randomized control trials usually also have um, uh, have a test for placebo. So in the case of acupuncture, it's called sham acupuncture usually. Um, and then we have the systematic reviews and the meta -anal analysis. Um, the one in the top, the difference between the systematic review and the meta analyst is that in the meta analyst they go and use uh, calculation and uh, compare the different studies with each other. They do not usually do that in systematic reviews. So this is just really, really briefly on what you should be aware of, depending on what you're going to use research for. Uh, you can use the evidence pyramid to guide you um, in, in what sort of um, studies you are looking for. Um, yeah, so going on to uh, what my um, presentation uh, is mainly about is uh, diabetes. And the prevalence of diabetes in 2013 around the world was 382 million people who were living with diabetes. And in the, in the picture, you can see how it's divided into the different uh, continents uh, all around the world. But and they also made a projection on how, uh, how many people would suffer from diabetes in 2035. And it would be an increase with 55%. Uh, so a total of 592 million people would suffer from diabetes. Um, and if you look at the picture at the bottom, you can see the uh, dark blue is Europe and they expect an increase with a little more than 22% people who will suffer from diabetes. Um, and we're getting closer to uh, the year 2035. So yeah, a lot of people is suffering from diabetes. And just uh, on this picture, you can just see a little bit about some of the complications that comes along with having diabetes. And the one that I'm going to talk about is um, on the peripheral nervous system, and it's about the neuropathy. Um, so neuropathy is uh, a nerve damage that happens. It usually uh, starts in the extremities. Usually it um, starts in the feet or in the toes, and then it, it as, as um, when it progresses, it's goes to the feet and to the ankles and up the legs. And it can also be in the fingers and hands. And the, um, the neuropathy causes pain and a tingling feeling and a loss of feeling as well. And it can also affect urination and digest digestion, erectile dysfunction and other functions in the body as well. And how can we as acupuncturists help these people who suffer suffers from uh, neuropathy, uh, it's uh, acupuncture actually really beneficial for it. A systematic, re systematic review and also a meta-analyst from 2017 showed that acupuncture is superior to the control. And some of the control that they tested against was uh, supplements with the vitamin B12. It was a total of four trials with 332 participants in it. And uh, the four trials also had uh, four different treatment courses. The first one 
they gave um, daily sessions for 10 days, then the participant had a break for three days, and then the session started all over again, and they did that for three rounds. The other uh, study had also daily sessions, but this one was for 14 days, then they had a break for five days, and they continued the course uh, in five rounds. Uh, the third study had uh, treatments every other day for 10 days, and then they had uh, the second round. And the last study had a daily session for four weeks. So this is um, really different approaches for the treatment. But the interesting uh, part of this is that all the treatment causes improved the outcome measures significantly. So it would seem that all four treatment causes um, is beneficial for the treatment of, of neuropathy uh, in people suffering from diabetes. Um, and I also uh, put in a, a illustration of the different acupuncture points that they have used in the studies. And uh, I'm pretty sure that you will get the slides from these shows or we will send something out to you. So you will don't have to uh, write down all of the points for this. But you can see that um, some of them are similar across the studies and some of them are really different. But they use, uh, uh, some of them used electro acupuncture and some of them used acupuncture um, for the treatment of it. Um, yeah. I also uh, decided to look for uh, newer studies on um, uh, diabetic neuropathy. And I found two protocols. I found one from last year. Um, it, was, it is also a systematic review. And um, when it's done, I don't know, but if you're interested in this, you can keep an eye out for this study. Um, and there's uh, also a, a published a protocol from this year. Um, and this one is uh, a randomized uh, trial. So they are actually going to treat um, people with um, acupuncture. So this is also a study that would be interesting to read once it's uh, published with the results of the trial, but it will probably take some time before this happens. So thank you very much for taking your time to listen to this.